This is a 3D printing channel, right? Yeah. Not a woodworking channel. No, but it looks cool. Hi, I'm John from Proper Printing and in this video I'm going to announce my next project and as you might have noticed it looks a bit different and um, yeah I still have to work on the background. I've changed the feet of this table to make it a standing table because I, um, in my opinion I was uh, sitting too much so now I'm standing I have more freedom. When I was sitting the camera just came up to here. <laughs> I cannot fool you anymore. This is not the only thing that's changing in this channel. I've decided to take on bigger projects and on the road I will find difficulties and um, I have to find solutions which I'm going to solve hopefully with 3D printing. The project which I'm going to work on right now is I'm going to make 3D printed rims for a car and I'm going to test them. First I have to make this look a bit better, <laughs> so I've bought a couple of more of these acoustic panels. Well I'm going to put this on the wall, you can watch a clip that I have made with Daniel, a friend of mine, and we went to Melvin, a friend of us who owns a small car company, and I told him about this project and he said, I've got the perfect car for you. Okay, we're at the Autobahn, and uh, we are a bit late, so it's uh, <laughs> it's quite noisy. Daniel is uh, with me, and we are going to. Oh, I will keep your hands on the steering wheel. Kan je zien? Nee, het is zeker lang geleden. Ja. Wat doe je nou dan? Dat is gewoon allemaal zo. Kan nog wel zijn. Ja, ik ben een proper printing aan het uh, weghalen. <laughs> Betaalt hij ook een beetje dan? Of, uh? Nee, nee, je fucking oude saai. <laughs> Precies wat ik wacht. Ja, hè? Ja. Dat ja. doet de sterren ook gewoon mooi. Oh, wat? Ja. Doe ja. 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 nog even zo. Ja, ja. ja. Je hebt ook twee opstaande hoeken nu. Uh, dan. Nou, dan gaan we hier straks uh, plastic vuil onder zetten. Ja man. Tering. Vier stuks? Ja. ja toch? Ja, ja. Als die vuil van Mercedes kunnen dragen, ja, dan, moet goed dan komen, kunnen ze toch? veel dragen. Ja, tijdskwaliteit hè? Ja, maar dat zijn olie of zo, toch? Nee, nee, nee. Nee, 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 nee. Eerlijke auto, maar. Ja, ja. ja dat kun ik ook. Nee, nee, nee geef maar. Oh, heel leuk is. Zo, Ja. Oké. Okay. Hij was het al uh, vergrendeling, dus. Uh. Ja. <laughs> yes. Succes. Hoeveel uh, lampen van de raam? Deze knalling is. Ja, ah, prima licht doet het, hij start. Ja, remmen, doen het. Remmen doen het. Ja. En hij heeft stoelen. Ja. 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 Nice. Ja. Oké. Okay. En dan naar links of naar rechts? Uh, doe maar naar links. Maar nog snel weg, stukje of zo. Nee, ik dacht maar rechts. Doe maar echt door. <laughs> je moet niet al te veel van dit beeld verwachten. Ja, zo moet juist een beetje shaky zijn. Dat nou, dat gaat wel goed komen. Daar ja. moet ik heel veel van verwachten. <laughs> awesome. 
Brenner nieuw. Ja, nice. Hey, uh, dankjewel, jongen. Ja, Thanks. Dankjewel, jongen. Ja, pak jij de Sirocco, dan ga ik met die oude bak. <laughs> Yesterday, I received a package. And... <laughs> <laughs> I've bought a Creality CR10 S5 for this insane project. Man, this box is large. This machine is capable of printing 19 inch. <laughs> printing 19 inch rims. The first videos will be about upgrading this printer in order to print large things out of more difficult materials. And I will start with ABS. It's the size of a medium bedroom window. I'm getting a... <laughs> I'm getting a warning from my phone that the uh, air quality is uh, unhealthy <laughs> because of the glue. Certainly much better here than inside with all those fumes. But um, now you know what this project will be about. This is the car, an old Mercedes from 1994. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to put 3D printed rims on it. A lot of questions that I'm going to find out in this series. So I hope that uh, you're enjoying this one and yeah, to learn a thing or two uh, as well. If I'm honest, I'm a, a bit terrified. This is a car of 1350 kilos. What happens if I'm going to, uh, to press the brakes or if I will uh, go around the corner? It can be a short series if it turns out that this is a completely useless... Uh, those fumes. If it turns out that this is a completely useless idea, that it will just snap immediately and um, it uh, makes sense that it doesn't work at all. If you want to join me on this journey and you haven't subscribed yet, then please consider doing so. Once those fumes are gone, I will start with the first upgrade of the 3D printer. And um, I really cannot wait. Oh, what am I doing? Well, see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.